How's it going, everyone? And welcome to Qualms of the Curious. Have you ever been stalked by a dog? The, dogs. the British German dogmen? Have you ever maybe thought you saw the Loch Ness monster? Or are the Illuminati following you? Well, join myself, Kadant, and Ishtar as we just explore all of these things. And apparently, joining us today is also Brockus and Sparky. Where we're talking about flat earth theory, hollow earth theory, and the fact that pop tart theory is not a thing. It Pop-tart is, it's theory. a thing. I got all the information for you. I got you, I got you guys all the information you need about the pop tart theory. Even Schmeckle knows about it. And you all know you wouldn't be listening to this shit if you thought Schmeckle was a complete. You. Pop tart theory is a thing. I swear. Yes, I understand. Pop tart theory didn't. Pop Tart Theory thing. didn't exist until last week when Schmeckle actually said something about it. It's a thing. I promise it's a thing. Uh, just because uh, it came from me does not mean it's false. It's probably false. I'm not a scientist. But that doesn't make it wrong. I'm yeah, Asian, so I would know. Uh-huh. This you is, fucking this astronaut, what? you've been to space, you fucking seen that the Earth does not look like a giant flying fucking Pop-Tart. No, I didn't think so, Antoine. Fuck you. Those, you know, those are the same arguments that the crazy flat earthers ta- start talking about. I'm Asian, so that's close to being a scientist. It just means you're good at math. I know math. Okay, so go start with the magog. Uh, start with the 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 flat. We'll start with the flat. Yeah. You uh, actually want to talk about somebody? If somebody does want to send a link to magog, uh, I've heard Morscar actually is flat. <laughs> He, he might have some insight into this. Don't deal. Yeah, flat Earth. Okay, uh, so I guess I'm still taking the part of introducing what the theory is, is that we're going to be talking about the conspiracy that it, that big NASA is trying to hide hide from everybody. Well, uh, there the f- there are multiple Earth theories that we're covering tonight. You can take one, and then someone can take another. Pop Tart theory is Pop-Tart. not a thing. I got Pop Tart. It's a thing. The flat Earth model is an archaic conception of Earth's shape as a plane or a disk. Many ancient cultures subscribed to the flat Earth cosmography, including Greece, until the Classical period, the Bronze Age and Iron Age civilizations of the Near East until the Hellenistic period, India until the Gupta period, early centuries AD, and China until the 17th century. So this is not a common thing. It's been all over the world. Everybody at one point thought that the Earth was flat. Uh, The idea of a spherical Earth appeared in Greek philosophy with Pythagoras, 6th century BC. Although most pre-Socrates retained... Socratics. Whatever. Retained the Earth flat, flat Earth model. Aristotle proved evidence for the spherical shape of the Earth on empirical grounds around 330 BC. Knowledge of the spherical Earth gradually began to spread beyond the Hellenistic world from then on. In the modern era, pseudoscientific flat Earth theories have been espoused by modern flat Earth societies and increasingly by unaffiliated individuals using social media, like the crazy people on Facebook that you laugh at when you see their posts. They actually Twitter. had they actually had a convention not that long ago. I heard actually I heard on this very channel on Sundays for CNN that you guys were talking about something like that. I believe Ishtar, you're the one who was talking about it. I did. And it, see, I pay attention. So I'm amazed <laughs> that you pay attention. I mean, this is a small miracle. But Damn. to uh, skip past that part, these people actually very much take to heart the question and find your own evidence. They completely disbelieve anything along the lines of what, oh, modern science has already told them. Common sense? Uh, apparently, the curve of the horizon is an optical illusion in their eyes. But The moon is also a holographic image that is projected onto a giant, giant dome. And all of the stars are actually just punctures in the dome. And apparently, Australia is not real. Ass rape! Beat him to it. 
Yay! How are you? The Googles. That's right. <laughs> oh, are you okay, McGoggins? He stole it from me! Who stole what from you? Schmeckle stole, Schmeckle stole it from Magog. He was supposed to come in and scream it. Schmeckle did it first. Ah, uh, <laughs> Schmeckle, you're an ass. It was I'm bound to happen eventually, Magog. What are we talking about? The fact that Morskar is flat. Morskar isn't flat. It's shaped more like a pop tart. Yes, exactly. Morskar is a single kingdom. Sorry, the, the planet on which uh, Morskar resides. Vatham. Whatever. Is it it's flat? flat. It's an oblong sphere. Oh, so very much like Earth. We don't believe in flat worlds, okay, because we're not morons. <laughs> they may be backward uh, medieval type people, but they're not retarded. Right. I mean, also, it's pretty I easy. Care, uh... The moons are round. The sun is round. Yeah, but in more, I mean, in, in your world, couldn't the moon just be like an illusion? Moons. Whatever. They could be an illusion, right? How many moons are there? Two. So Four. they both could be an illusion. Una and Dina. Una and Dina. Yes. They're named after the goddesses. But that is no moon. Anyway, I want to hear more about Morskar, but not on But um, all right. So we are talking about the idiots who believe that the Earth is flat and don't want to listen to actual astronauts that have gone into space. They believe that there is uh, a dome that we shoot the satellites up into that just kind of stick there. And the obviously, this obviously guy has it. never watched Space Cowboys. Clearly not. But these are also the same people who believe that the country of Australia is a hoax. That it's just basically to cover up mass murder. Uh, have you ever been to Australia? Have you ever legitimately met somebody from Australia? Yes, I work with an Australian. Uh, she's lying. He. And he. he's pretty convincing. I don't know why I assumed it would be a she. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of sexist of you. Oh, damn. Uh, probably the lying convinced oh, okay. me it was probably a woman. Well, no, it was he's definitely a guy. He's a nice guy. And let me guess. You walk from one end to the other, you just magically whoop to the other side. The no, you fall line. off the edge. Yeah, they actually believe there is an edge to the world. And pilots yeah. are in on it. The, 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 the edge of the world thing is one thing that's always confused me about uh, uh, about flat earthers. Like, whoa. First off, why can you go in one direction and get back where, where you started? That's but, my uh, point. Second, why why don't you just uh, like, uh, what what happens when you get to the fucking edge? Like, well, what's there? Nothing. You fall off. Uh, but that, some that's... people believe that there is a wall of ice. What is this Game of Thrones? Wait, Dad, don't you think we we would have had some evidence of this wall of ice at some point? The penguins are covering it up. <laughs> you know that does explain it. I've never trusted them. So, that's what I'm going to ask. What is the evidence? Well, there's actually, there's actually quite a few things to support uh, Flat Earth. Uh, in West Asia, in early Egyptian and Mesopotamian thought, the world was portrayed as a disc floating in the ocean. A uh, similar model is found in uh, the Homeric account of the, from the 8th century BC, in which, I don't know how to say that name. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, People in the past were retards. Isn't evidence? I, I no, don't. I don't want believe. I don't want models. I want hard evidence. <laughs> I can make a model of anything. And okay. Try no, 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 no. You're trying. Okay. So with wait, someone wait, who wait, wait, wait. one at a time. Sparky. One at a time. So, sorry, but Sparky, the hard evidence. One of the things that they like to do is, um, first off, they'll pour water on a on a sphere. And be like, look, it's just falling right off. Where is it going? And then they pour water in a plate. Like, see, it holds better on a plate. And then another one is, go ahead, jump straight up and, and, and just jump straight up. Did you land in the same spot that you had jumped from? Well, yes. Well, that means that the rotation of the Earth is fake. It's a lie. Because then, otherwise, you would move because the Earth is rotating beneath your feet. Go to a carnival. <laughs> Get on the spinning top ride. 
there you go. You you asked for the proof that they give, Sparky. That's the their proof. On top of that, they believe that it is a giant conspiracy that NASA is just wasting money. And that, are providing any number of uh, false pictures. And are these, false. It's all made up. Are, are these people five? No. Okay, so there there is actually a bunch of uh, flat earthers. Uh, one of the more common, one of the, the newest ones, and this is from 2018, is an astronomer named Yale Na Naze, N-A-Z-E, with the little dingly bob over the top of it. Uh, dingly bob. Yes, anal I don't know what it's called. Uh, analyze the controversy over a PhD thesis proposed by a student at the a student at the University of uh, S SFAX. What is that? I don't know. Which defended a flat Earth as well as a geocentric model of the solar system and a young Earth. So it went through three different conspiracy theories. The dissertation which had not been approved by the Committee Overseeing Environmental Studies Theses had been made public and denounced in 2017 by Professor Hafediv Ateb. That's the best way I can pronounce that name. It's H-A-F-E-D-H A-T-E-B A founder of the Tanzanian Astronomical Society and on his Facebook page. But which one of these guys is the one that sneaks into your room and ass blasts you at night? Uh, you that would probably be the Hafedid Ateb guy. Gotcha. I really hope this. Indian. I really hope this guy is self-proclaimed. Uh, well, he's an astronomer, not an yeah. not an astronaut or an astrologer. No, no, no. I mean, a self-proclaimed astronomer. Uh, it does not say here. Let me look. Let me let me look him up real quick. Because any uh, university they give this guy a fucking Yale, Yale Nazé is a Belgian astrophysicist who works at the University of Liège. She, uh, she specializes in massive stars and their interactions with their surroundings. So she pretty much studies the fame that she proves against. Uh, no, you're mis you're confusing people. Yale Nazé is basically analyzed somebody else's PhD thesis. Um, Hafeda Ateb is uh, Is the else. one, oh, is he the one that w believes that the three things? Uh, I think no. we're all a little confused here. <laughs> no, I'm rereading what you just read and nobody, ac the actual person who believes it is not listed. Uh, I'm good. The dissertation that you were talking you. about was denounced by Professor Ateb. Okay. Round of applause. Yeah, oh, yeah well, because... Walk out, Antoine. It's I got you. Okay. Yeah, well, because pro I'm Professor at Ateb... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but pro at that's because thing. Professor Ateb is, is aware that it's not flat. It's it's a Pop-Tart. It's not a Pop-Tart. It's a uh, Pop-Tart. <laughs> the Earth is a Pop-Tart. I don't care. No, but we, we do have Sarah Hatcherby Sanders in the chat saying, uh, ask McGog about the guy he did a video on with uh, Suit Yourself. Uh, oh, the idiot who thinks that the flat mountains were giant trees and we're all giants? Mm. Oh, shit, I forgot about that video. Yeah, he, he believes the Nephilim once walked the earth and they were giants and plateaus were actually trees that were cut down by the giants. Even though mountains are made of rock, yeah, but then he argued that uh, the mountain, that you know, the petrified forest and stuff like that, so that you know, wood could be you know, stone at some point. Yeah, but he still believes in root systems. What I'm is not disagreeing the fact that he's an idiot. I I feel my IQ is slowly dropping right now. Good, then you'll be on the same level as me and not understand. What words are? It's not something to break. Awesome. I said my IQ is slowly dropping. It hasn't hit rock bottom yet. Does not Buckle up. Right. Buckle, Buckle up, weekend. Buttercup. Buckle up, Sparky. It doesn't get any better from here. 
Yeah, no, I'll flatten the the fucking iceberg. Hey, hey, uh, Sparky, if your IQ didn't didn't completely go away with the whole discussion of of the MGTOW, then then you'll be fine with this because this is at least <laughs> this at least has some semblance of like you know attempted have, intelligence put into it. I have I, I have humor to laugh at with this instead of just sadness of MGTOW. Yes, and so I wanted to stick a 45 in my mouth, pull the hammer back in, and see what happens when I hit the trigger. Oh, yeah, Don't I, do that. With the, with That's the hard to clean up. Uh, yeah, uh, if you're going to kill yourself, first off, be considerate of the, the people around you. Uh, you know, at least do it in the bathtub. Uh, no, my, my, my girlfriend would probably portrait on the wall as ought. Your girlfriend sounds fucked. Every once in a while, I'm sure. <laughs> Only on his birthday. <laughs> I was going to say every blue moon, but... Well, since the mo- since Flat Earthers believe the moon is just a hologram, you could probably talk to the guy that's do it running the hologram and actually turn it blue. Oh, you could do uh, that, like... the, 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 uh, the moon's a hologram? Yes, they yeah, the moon is a hologram. Yeah, so, but, um, well... I'm already sick of this. <laughs> the, well, the obviously, hologram, which I assume means the moon landing <laughs> uh, was fake. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. This conversation vexes Magog. So, uh, like, flat Earth necessitates the belief that the moon landing was faked, despite the fact that that would have been unfeasible at the time. Uh. Oh no! This has all been in place for thousands of years. They've just lied to us in the history books. Yeah. Well, yes, because our government, you know, our governments all conspired against us um, and built a giant hologram projector to put the moon in the sky. You know, you know what's so when, when wrong about all of this? The problem with conspiracy theorists is that they never ask the most important question. Why? Of that many people Why? can the things the same secret? What is the benefit for anybody lying about the shape of the earth? What is the benefit? There money is no benefit. There, no, there's no how are you going to make money off of the world being round rather than flat? If we've never, NASA? if we never, if we've never gone into space, then all the money that's been filed into NASA, funneled into that's NASA. That's one thing I don't get: the world being flat does not mean that space. That's not, e- that's not even a lot of money. Like, what are they worried about? Globe sales? Uh, like, <laughs> right? They're like, oh my god, all the money people. Spent buying no, something. No, 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 no. No, you want to hear something old. really fucking funny? They just had they just had their convention, and the tagline was "Flat Earthers from all around the globe." <laughs> well, one second, Antoine, Antoine, baby. Uh, Sarah's in the chat. Sarah, hi, Sarah. Uh, saying, <laughs> how come we can't go back to the moon? NASA said they lost the telemetry uh, to get back to the moon. Sarah, are you a flat earther? Because that would oh boy, that would make my day. If she is a flat earther, bring her ass on, but only if she is a flat earther. And she can explain to us how someone who has intelligence that lives in this day and age can believe that the earth is flat. We didn't lose the trajectory. We don't go back to the moon because there's nothing there. Yeah, it, it, we went there once to, to prove that we could. We, we that, went there on a will and a bet. Uh, they, 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 they don't have resources up there. Uh, they, there's not fucking. Uh, we studied moon they, rocks, and it turns out plants. We studied moon rocks to see if the moon might have some sort of new material that we could benefit from. Turns out they're just rocks. Yeah, you guys yeah, are just mistaken. Rocks. The reason we haven't gone back to the moon is because Hitler lives there. No, no, no he was on the moon. He has been does, com- conclusively proven that he is not, not on, the on the moon. That's correct. My apologies. He lives in Venus. And besides, Sarah, we stopped focusing on the moon because, again, as Magog said, there's nothing there. We started focusing on the next closest planet, which is Mars. And there's nothing there. And well, now we're going to have to go they a little They found microbes there, and, and frozen waters. My, all, all the planets after Mars are basically useless. Everything after Mars. The only All reason gas giants. Their only reason NASA's even remotely interested in Mars is if the off chance 
Total Recall is right, and we can have three titty bitches. Yes! <laughs> I, I, I would support this. I would donate money. I would dedicate Our dark money is that. To Also, there is a legendary porn supply on Mars, and no one has been able to find it just yet. Yeah, they, they look exactly like the hardest. And why are you guys talking about space? Green and three titties. Seriously, dude. Like, like, <laughs> why are y'all... Why are y'all talking about this shit when Jeff Holliday is doing a stream right now about conspiracy stuff in space, too? Like, is it just conspiracy in space Wait, day? Did, 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 is that what, did I miss a memo? Did, did we booked this no. at the same time as Jeff's doing the same fucking shit. This was supposed to happen last week at this time. But no, we he's, talking, he's over there reviewing a video uh, about the mysterious planet X, but it's still conspiracy theory space shit. Like, is, did I miss a memo? Was today, like, Conspiracy Theory Space Day? He's copying yeah, you, us. you should have paid attention, man. No, he's been streaming for, like, two hours, so. It's a part of his Wingnut Roundup, uh, but May edition, I guess. He's still copying us. I don't care if he's been streaming for two hours. Yeah, that's my Who cares if he had the idea first? Yeah, he stole it from us. No, I'm just I'm just asking, what, what is this story coming from? Everybody already knows Flat Earth. People are fucking retarded. Like, <laughs> well, because it's Wednesday. Wednesday. I swear to God, I I met a flat earther one time, and they had to draw out what their conspiracy theory using crayon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that because they, is that because they wouldn't? Uh, no, I, 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 I go, Was that part of that serious? Uh, have you actually met a flat earther? I have indeed. Because. Uh, and I've, I, I've run into a lot on the internet. Bro, I've oh, never I, met somebody. I physically met a flat life. earther in real life at my college, and I told him to go to the corner, shut up, and color. And <laughs> you're still sane, McGon. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I, I love how um, the way God could have explained that is, is actually like. He explained it by pulling out a box of Crayola, and that's when everybody just dies. Right? No! No! If you have to explain it and pull out a box of crayons to explain it, then fuck you. You're done. Did, did he eat a couple of them while he was drawing? I'm pretty sure some of them had no, the whole The whole reason he believed that the Earth was flat is that he's been in a plane, and he looked out the window, and the horizon looked flat to him. Oh my fucking! The horizon God. will always look flat to you. It's called forced perspective, and it's kind of a moot point. And wow, we're getting a lot of people on for a show that's. <laughs> I uh, just hit the link. I don't know nothing. These are the same type of people when they were kids, ate a lot of glue, lead. The sad part is, is that's not entirely true. There are people of high IQ and high education who do believe this. Rain they, Man was a high IQ, but he couldn't tie his own fucking shoes. That's why I added high education. They genuinely do believe this. And one of the cruxes of their arguments is the evidence that they have, that has been provided to us by Places like NASA and the higher educations of learning has not been independently verified in their mind. It doesn't so need they to. Genu this, it doesn't they, need to. It was already independently verified because NASA was it was an independent civilian organization. However, <laughs> this is what they believe is that NASA is not to be fully trusted. They are being skeptical about their own possible theory. And that's part of the interestingness of these different theories is that, yeah, these people are absolutely whacked out, but they believe in freaking trying to scientifically prove it with what they themselves can prove, not you know what, what other people can prove, what they can prove. This leads to very bad shit. shit. And and I gotta say, if you have a, a so-called high IQ and an actual degree and all that shit, and you're a flat earther, your degree must be removed immediately. You no longer have. Uh, a, I've, a always, his, I've his, always I've always had a question for flat earthers: How do they explain the fact that you weigh less closer to the poles than you do towards the equator? Or the other way like, around. Yeah. So you're saying I don't know. That isn't the convers cool. that isn't one yeah. of the things you that actually, we're discussing yeah. today. You actually weigh more or you actually weigh less closer to the equator because you're further away from the Earth's center of gravity. Mm. 
if you flew down to the equator, like Ecuador, mm -hmm. you'd weigh about two or three pounds more than if you went to Alaska. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you saying you can gain weight by going to different parts of the world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was you don't gain mass because your mass never changes, but you gain weight. It's oh. like it, it's like being in uh, the uh, the carnival rides. Um, there's one that spins around and throws you up against the wall. If you can get up, you get over towards the center. You can keep your balance. So you're not thrown against the wall in the center. It's, yeah, it's wait, not wait, just wait, that. Wait, think, about, uh, think about a go. sphere. Think about did, a sphere. Did, did you just say your mass never changes? No, your mass. You know, I mean, your mass could change if you like are nothing if you die and turn to dust. But <clears throat> your mass doesn't change based on gravity. Your weight does. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. Your mass is the based same on the moon. Your on weight gravity. isn't. Yeah. Based on gravity. Based on gravity, yes. Okay, I'm not saying your I mean. mass that's never easy. changes because yeah. obviously it does, but I'm saying in this context, based on gravity. See, if you look, if you think about a circle, like or a sphere, like a basketball, it's wider in the middle, isn't it? You're further away from the Earth's gravitational force. So you weigh less at the equator than you do towards the poles. You're actually closer to the uh, center of the gravity of Earth, which is about a thousand miles, I think. Yeah, a thousand miles under the surface of the Earth, something like that. But here's it's the thing: it's been a while since I took physical science, but I definitely remember that, that, that explanation. I'm sure there is an explanation that does make sense, but that one wasn't it because closer to the center, while still on the outside of a round object, doesn't actually mean closer to the like center, yeah. center, right? He's talking you about are... the center of rotation. No, it has nothing to do with rotation. <clears throat> if you are, if you are, if you are at the fattest part of the Earth, you're further away from the pole, <laughs> which means Die. gravity. Gravity is affecting you less, ever Die. so slightly, which means you weigh less. Right. Yes, because the the Earth is not a perfect ball, so it's got that. Right. It's a. It's actually an oblong sphere. Guys, the point of this stream is not to disprove or to reprove to everybody who already knows that, yes, this is a whack job thing. It is to go over it, to discuss why they think what it is, and to give a, just the faintest little hint of what if. Well, no, we under, we all know. We I, all know. That there's, I, agree that you, there's, I agree with you to a degree, Ishtar. But... Uh, Bringing up the issues with the thing, kind of. Uh, That's kind of the point. Kind of does you miss, you miss my initial how question. How they write those things off, yeah. right? Like my initial question was, what do flat earthers think of that? Like, if they think we're a flat disc, then you would weigh the same no matter where you are on the planet. Well, Antoine, did you get to even finish the the whole thing? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a very. Uh, a uh, very long thing to to go over. They think the world is flat and is, is dumb. Uh, the hollow earth theory, uh, while well, also dumb, uh, at least has, you know, uh, some explanation because people can look at the earth and say, uh, I don't know what's inside it. Well, we've been eight miles down so far with a quarter inch drill bit. Well, yeah, uh, like I said, it's still a stupid fucking theory. Yeah. So, so w when do they think the hollow begins? Because we've been eight miles down. Pocket in the very middle, and I that's really, what we call it hollow. I, I one of the things when I think about Fly Earther, I always have to look at this live stream about the SpaceX uh, Starman, the the one that it's like that thing that orbits the Earth, the Tesla car. Oh yeah. <laughs> You can I always clearly to... see the spherical Earth in the distance. Yeah, I always have to look <laughs> at this and like I'm trying to think how how do you think this is flat? How does this work? I'm just I'm just trying to wrap my head around the concept. I also love how it says "Don't panic" on the dashboard. Yeah, that's definitely straight from Hitchhiker. Yeah, this is this is like creativity to a new level. I love it. Um, but I'm always forced to think about this. <laughs> Because flat Earth, I just I have a hard time wrapping my my mind around it. But I also have to say that I'm surprised at the increase of people who actually believe in the flat Earth thing. There's you know, you know what's flat though? Seriously, mm -hmm. flat Earthers' brains. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is what Common Core does to people. 
<laughs> I was actually, while you guys were talking about this, I was looking up uh, flat earther communities within my area, uh, in, in my city, and there's actually a fairly large one. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Wasn't there a guy who recently shot himself into a fucking rocket? I think. <laughs> and then, like, he crashed to the ground and broke, like, all his fucking bones or something. Like, he survived, but he, like, broke bones and shit because he just totally miscalculated the landing. I believe it. Totally believe it. <laughs> Did you guys not see that? That was crazy. I, I've been seeing a lot of things involving flat, flat earthers. Um, yeah. Fuck. I don't know, man. It's weird. So uh, I, I'm, I'm late. Are we talking Fly Earther? Is that just the conference? I have to look him up. I don't know. We've, we've kind of gotten away from everything. And the plan that the three of us had for making this informative and entertaining has just kind of gotten completely steamrolled. Has it? Yeah. Amazingly well, enough. Well, that, that yeah. It's a common theme here on the on, on the come stream. I mean, yesterday we were supposed to be talking about nerd stuff, and oh boy, did we not stick to that. <laughs> yeah, well, we we kind of did yesterday. Uh, I, I, I think I think what Ishtar is complaining about is the presence of Rockus, uh, Samaj, Magog, and uh, Sparky here. No, and... that's not what I'm complaining about at all. I don't object at all. It's just that. We set up a very specific format to make the show work, and it's gone all to hell. Hey, yeah, that's something you should have expected. What what format? I mean, I, I was still talking about flat earth stuff. Oh, Antoine also hadn't finished covering everything. He said and, he did. Yeah, after he got completely overrun. I apologize if I'm coming off as a little bit of a bitch right now, but I am kind of angry about the fact that he didn't get to finish. We didn't get a chance to move in. And I had to yell at you guys to stop so I could try and get the stream back online. So, Sarah, quick. We need you. Apologies. I can easily leave if you guys would like. My God, nobody would like for you to leave. It's no, like, absolutely not. I, I am I'm the force here. Mommy and daddy fight. I, I am the disruptive force, and I fully recognize that. You're fine, yeah. Magog. Just, we all need to take a couple chills back and let us continue with the show so we can actually get to the discussion portion of things <laughs> and everybody's on the same page. All right, so Ishtad does have a good point. Let's, uh, I think we've covered Flat Earth about as much as we can. Hollow Earth is, is, is the second most interesting out of the three topics tonight. Uh the in that's where I'm going to jump in and kind of give the rundown of that. Um, everyone, it's a common theme throughout history is what's on the inside of the planet, and it could be it, there's been theories of everything from nothing to to an entirely different world underneath there. Um, in ancient times, the concept was subterranean land inside the earth like the Greek underworld, the Christian hell, the Nordic Svartheimer. I can barely pronounce that. Um, an, an entire additional um, series of continents and oceans. And it's even gone so far as to spread to Tibet and Shambhala is actually one of the theories located inside the earth. There were, according to the Greeks, there are caverns that you can locate to come down and visit the underworld. Many of the Greek heroes, like um, Orpheus, found his way down there to rescue his beloveds. And it, this has gone even through into the Middle Ages. I mean, this has been an enduring theory. Native American mythology says that the ancestors of the Mandan people emerged from a subterranean land near the Missouri River. So th this is definitely one of the one of the longer lived earth theories. In the 17th and 18th century, people put forth the idea of it being completely hollow about 800 kilometers thick, about 500 miles thick, 
with multiple shells and an inner core, each with their own atmospheres and magnetic poles, basically worlds within worlds within worlds. Um, in the 19th century, they increased the amount of thickness and added, <laughs> <laughs> we all like that, and yeah. then added in the openings at <laughs> poles. There are openings at the poles. Really, Kudan, can we pull the mind out of the gutter, please? You gotta add some openings for the extra thickness. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> um, John Cleves Sims Jr. actually in 1818 proposed heading up to the North Pole in order to locate some of those things. And even now, there's in the 20th century, it's still running just as strong as the flat earth. There's um, William Reed, who wrote Phantom of the Poles in 1906, who believed it, spiritualist writers. Let's see, who else? There's a whole list of people I'm looking, here we go. A Dr. Raymond Bernard in 1964 wrote a book about the hollow earth, exemplifying the idea of UFOs. Mm -hmm. So coming from within the earth. These people definitely uh, have quite the theory going on. And yeah, there is a lot of contrary evidence to it. Seismic, graphic, gravity, density, direct observation. But eight miles down, there's still a lot of questions, you know? So would you think that um, this is where the idea of Pacific Rim came from? Entirely possible. There's also a concave version of Hollow Earth, but in order to avoid listening to me ramble on for too much, uh, basically says that we live on the inside of a hollow spherical world, so that everything Ooh. in space is in the center of our planet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um... I don't know if I can comprehend that um, the, the inverted wow. world like thing. Uh, maybe, maybe that is a thing. I don't know. Um, the Hollow Earth. I I never really looked much into it. Um, it sounds interesting though. Uh, you, you think that's where the lizard people come from? I, I I personally think there's a giant testicle inside of the Earth, and volcanoes are just the Earth spraying hot cum all over the place. That's why Ew. everyone on Earth is, is such dicks. That would explain that, yes. What about you, Antoine? I think he stepped away from his microphone for a few minutes. There's pizza in the kitchen. I want pizza. Ooh, pizza. Yeah. It's a DiGiorno, so it's not delivery. Wait, wait, wait. But is it a hollow pizza? Uh, it is not a hollow pizza. Wait, it, I just got the idea of the concave thing. It's like a, 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 a the pazones, you know, or, or the calzones <laughs> or whatever, where where the cheese is still on the inside, but like the pepperoni and the sausage and all that stuff is like the universe that's like right there in the middle of our calzone world. Magog, do you believe? In Morskar, that it's a calzone world. This is the dumbest conversation I've ever been part of. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Throw those perfect. IQ points slip away, man. Just let them go. You'll feel a better. Goddamn year and three months on the internet, and this is it. Go <laughs> do it. Come on. This is the lowest I've ever been. Hey, you no, know, talk, talk to us, my Googles. Hashtag Come calzone on. world. <laughs> calzone <laughs> three. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the delicious one yet. No, no, the calzone. I like the hollow earth because now I'm like, yes, yeah, so we live in a calzone. But what kind of calzone? That's the question. Wait, wait, wait. But if it's the inverted thing, then wouldn't I be able to, like, on a really clear night, see past, like, all the stars to, like, Australia or some shit? Mm-mm. No? Why? Because is it just that dense? Because you have all the stars in the way. 
and some of them even suggest that there's another. Sorry, I have my mouth full. <laughs> I'm eating pizza, guys. Give me a break. Um, is that flat pizza? It is now. I kind of torn it apart. Um, there, some of the theories do indicate that there are additional rings on the inside. So basically, when we look up at the night sky, what we're seeing is the outer shell. The stars are the outer shell of yet another world within. Oh my god, we're all sparkle balls. We are sparkle balls. Sparky, Dude, I wonder... Sparky, that they named it after you. Sparkle balls. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here's a good question, though. Question. What universe or whatever, like, what other solar system and shit like that is outside of our sparkle ball? I'm going to retire to an island. <laughs> 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 By the way, this is going. I think he can have a more intelligent conversation with the dead. I'm I'm seriously contemplating retiring <laughs> to an island and punching <laughs> babies for the rest of my life. Uh, also, I'm how curious. are you going to keep a fucking island stocked with babies? Be realistic, my dog. <laughs> I'll, buy, I'll buy them from the stork factory. That makes more sense than this shit. <laughs> Factory. We should cover that for next week. Oh boy! I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. How are babies made? The well, theories I mean, of how babies. Like topic. It might be outside of the format. Can consider this. <laughs> the the co cola borehole that you were mentioning earlier isn't going into the Earth. It's going out towards the exterior of the actual sphere that is our world, that is encasing our world. Mind blown. I swear to God, this guy like had one everlasting gobstopper and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. This whole layers thing makes sense. So, Starwin in chat says, like that one Invader Zim episode. <laughs> <laughs> Invader Zim was a great <sighs> show. I, I, I gotta ask, how high were they? That, that is a question. Just I, I, like a question of why they want to abandon I, the notion of gravity. No, I, I have a friend that I used to game with, and he would get so freaking high, he would think he's Plato or Aristocrates, and he would just start babbling nonsense. And he wait, still wait, does wait. it to this day. So, for the hollow earthers, I got your answer. Uh oh. Uh, for the gravity bit, this is this is my job. Like you, you guys get to go ahead and be skeptics, and I get to go ahead and be retarded, and you know, toy with these ideas. Um. So, centrifugal force. If we are if we are standing uh, like on the inside of this shell so to speak, on the inside of this shell and that the stars and whatnot are just another, you know, sparkle ball that we get to stare at that's on the inside of our shell as well. But we're standing on the outside. We're just spinning really fast. And that's where gravity comes from because the centrifugal force is as we're spinning, it's pull. It's keeping us pulled to the, 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 the shell. It's keeping us pulled in there. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he hates you because it actually makes sense. I know, right? Oh, well, it sucks to be retarded, but slightly intelligent. We should have been here last true, we time get... when we had Lo Fi on. She was giving scientific evidence for why Atlantis could still be found. It can. It can. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this that's not true at all. If it was if some tropical force worked that way. We would be stuck to the outer shell. How do you know the plant the the land masses aren't on the outer shell? See, ah. so they think we're on the outer shell, looking inward. Basically, uh -huh. that's the concrete yes. hollow Earth. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> so this guy went to Funland. <laughs> <laughs> 
and got inside a centripetal fucking park ride. Yeah. What yeah. You Top right. What's what's really scary is I just found this note that says a doctor from New York, upstate New York, pr- believes firmly in the concave hollow earth so much as to found a group called the Korshan Unity based on the notion in which the main colony survives as a is they're they're based in Florida. Which should tell us all we need to know. That doesn't make any sense because if we were on the outer shell, to have the universe inside of it, the outer shell would be mind-numbingly large. Like we wouldn't even be able to contemplate the size of it. The doctor's followers claim to have experimentally verified the concavity of Earth's curvature through surveys of the Florida coastline, making <laughs> use of rectilinear equipment. Nothing in Florida makes sense. These idiots oh, went to Florida. <laughs> Look at the Bermuda Triangle. These are these are also people that you would call Vernians. They're Jules Verne. They, there are people out there who are fans of Jules Verne that believe his stories are true. They do him wrong. Did you mean to say that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant exactly how it said. Like he's sitting, swore, he's, he's sitting there getting his books read as I quit fucking over my books. No, I could have sworn you said they did him wrong, like L. Ron Hubbard. Get yeah, it? Ron. <laughs> They're Scientologists. <laughs> so they believe that his story about journey to the center of the earth is actually a true story. It doesn't yes. say anything about that. But there's the there's another author called Martin Gardner who in 1992 actually discussed and hypothesized about how things like light rays travel and why it's dark in the center of the cavern and we can see the see stars quote unquote. Um, well, I can see. Well, that's it. I'm, go, I, 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 I'm gonna go get my theta levels read. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. I can, yeah, see, no, do it. I can see Johnny at the center of Earth, and I can see it being vi- viable. Because I'm not saying that the Earth is hollow, but there are many giant caverns and crevices in the Earth that could easily support an ecosystem, theoretically. Now, I say theoretically to a point. What are you talking about? They've already proven there's massive ecosystems in caves. The dinosaurs aren't dead. They're down inside. Well, they're just, they're just not the Jules Verne ecosystem. That's there's, that's why I meant. There's bacteria, there's algae, there's phosphorescence, life forms, and all kinds of shit. Yeah, right? like that one in Mexico that has the uh, was it the uh, gigantic crystals, and the temperature inside the cave is I think what 140, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. There's also another one that I read of in Russia where, uh, because of how the air was mixed in with certain gases and basically sealed within this cave, completely different strains of life developed within it and they cannot survive outside the cave and breathing regular oxygen. Yep. Yeah. Like an okay. alien world. I yeah, thought of a horrible, horrible uh, thumbnail idea of me and Samaj in spacesuits and we're looking at some sort of alien and I turn to Samaj and I'm like, can we fuck it? <laughs> Brockus, you'd fuck any frame with two legs. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head for some fucking awful reason. Well, it could have been like a maybe you were remembering no. a comment that uh, James Cameron made when he was making the Avatar monsters or aliens. Well, no, fucking Magog <laughs> decided to bring up Jules Verne, and immediately I'm just like, I brought up Jules no, Verne. No, you need to draw Brockus with like his hand out, and he's holding a book, but instead of a butterfly, it's the Earth, and he's like, "Is this flat?" <laughs> like that meme is going around. <laughs> that is a good idea. I like that. Because we can never have Samaj not working on something. Uh, I'm already working on something from goddamn Mr. Dapperton. Dapperton okay. again? Is he at least going to fucking credit you and pay you this time? I don't want him to credit me because I don't want those anarchists coming to me for work. 
I don't, I don't want to. I tolerate him. Matt, uh, 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 Samash, by the way, did I tell you that he uh, he actually reached out to me asking me to do art for him? Yes, you told me about that because he <laughs> thought you were me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That just, happens so just a often. little similarity between the two of you. <coughs> well, we both have ape avatars, and I draw them both. So you may, may have me assume. Oh, so start with S, and we're both Canadians. Charming. Yeah, but here's the difference. Schmeckel is the rare asshole Canadian. You're the typical Canadian. Yeah, somehow. That's not true. Most <laughs> of thought, them don't have talent. I thought asshole Canadians were norm. No, just in certain provinces. At, look, it, it, we, we vary. There's a lot of assholes here in Canada. Just look at Andy Worski. Because <laughs> he's in Ontario. Justin Bieber. Is anyway. he closer to, to you, Schmeckel? Uh, who's that? No, never mind. Andy, whatever. Uh, Andy, whatever. Yeah, no, Andy's like 45 minutes from me. And somehow you have not went, ended up on Worski Live. Andy and I have spoken a, a very few times before we stopped liking each other uh, yeah well, we had maybe one or two conversations before uh before we weren't so good okay uh, uh yeah i can i actually i have been on warski live uh, i've just never been like there in the studio all right uh, it's probably so for the best he'll probably make you a co-host well, uh, that's Nobody the thing. I'd go up, uh, I'd be a foot taller than him, and he'd go, okay, yeah, maybe you should co-host. Voltoth in the uh, chat says, the movie co The Core explains everything. I know it's a movie, but still, <laughs> it's all science and can be directly observed. I just looked it up, and the basic synopsis for this movie is, the only way to save Earth from catastrophe is to drill down to the core and set it spinning again. Yeah. Wait a second, you haven't watched the core? Me? Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe. It's one of those movies. That's all I have to say. One of those <laughs> movies. Yeah. It mm. was one of it came out around the time where we had the influx of disaster movies. It, it, it's it's one of those um, movies that um has like an impossible to fix catastrophe. But magically, there just so happens to be some crazy scientist who invented some sort of technology that'll help them do it. Several technologies. Can we? Uh, I invented the thing that can dig all the way to the center of the Earth, and it's like, well, just in luck, the core of our planet stops spinning. And it says the synopsis says that they used a nuclear device because in. Apparently that fixes everything. They multiple use multiple multiple. Devices. Multiple. They use like ten. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this movie, so I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that's um, uh, it's got um, uh, was it Aaron Eckhart was in it? Aaron Eckhart, uh, what's her name? She was in Million Dollar Baby. I keep forgetting her name. Hillary Swank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we we got fucking Race Jacobson in the chat talking about some shit called unobtainium. Is it very easy to obtain? It's oh, that's, that's what from they, Avatar. No, no, it, that's it, what it, they yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's what it's ba like. They borrowed the name, but that is actually like a joke that got started in the science science community. Yeah, and that exactly there's a, that there's another um, there's another element on the periodic table called unobtainium, and we can't find it. Then how do we know it's an element on the? Because that, that, that's the fucking joke, Antoine. That's the joke in the science community. Like that's the joke. Ugh. We can't obtain it, so obviously it science must. Science humor is horrible. <laughs> you know what? It makes more sense than this. Yeah, but we're about to get into the absolute best theory of all time. Which is not theory. a real thing. Shush, it is. It's could not. Aunt, could I tell us how this is a real thing? Could I? She's probably chasing a squirrel. <laughs> could I? I, I, I thought she called that playing DJ. Well, 
All right. So what you do, what you do here is, is you take flat earth, right? And how it's like hurling through space and all that jazz. But on top of that, you take hollow earth and how there's like shit going down in, in inside the earth that we don't know about. There's like little holes and shit and whatever. And you just mash the two of them together and boom, Bob Tart. That is the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. Ever. <laughs> And wait, we were wait, talking wait, no, about no, no, no. MGTOW today. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't no, think we've gone full crazy yet. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, just let me... started. But wait, there's more. Okay, so I drawn a little picture. Uh, Schmeckle, Schmeckle, could you? Because I figured it was retarded. And I, I and heard, since we're I, talking about retarded I, things, uh, Schmeckle, share, share the thing. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're presented right now. Me? I'm, I can't present it. Oh, yeah, you... Uh, what the fuck are you asking me to, to share? The, uh, she wants the, to show her thumbnail. Oh, the, the, the thumbnail. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can pull that up. This, uh, is, this is the Earth theory for the people who have questions about both, but definitely don't believe in the round Earth. Yes. Like, like, and, like and cubed Earth, obviously cubed Earth is just, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Because <laughs> if the Earth was cubed, then cats would have knocked everything off of every single edge. Absolutely. This is, no. thing. this is not a thing. This is not a thing. Look, look at the pop tart. Look at the pop tart. You see how? Okay, so there's the, the little white line around there. This like the glaciers and shit. You know how how the, uh, the, the ice wall. Yeah, like the ice wall from the flat Earth, right? Okay, mm -hmm. and then down below you can see the whole other world that's there. And what we don't know, like where where you that's see all where the, the little continents from. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> well, there you go. NASA don't release. You've never seen an actual photo of the real Earth from orbit. It is in the Earth orbit. That's yeah. Not, no, not Tell that problem. Muslim MGTOW to shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 MGTOW. Go, go and sell yourself. Islam <laughs> <laughs> comes before MGTOW. Okay, uh, Allahu Akbar, jihad, jihad. I yeah. think that could be shit. God's gonna love me for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you do is you see all the little the light. The, the dark ones up at the top on the slight little dome because it's a it's the slightest little like protective little dome otherwise it wouldn't really be hollow and you know it's kind of flat earthy and blah 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 whatever but that's where we sit and we're hurling through space just like the fucking flat earthers believe but on the oh, inside oh, is a whole other world of yummy goodness strawberry flavor s'mores s'mores is a really good pop tart it's way no, too a lot of you thing I have ever, ever heard. heard. Are actually stars uh, surrounding the Earth there. Um, <laughs> she hasn't just drawn the ones that we can see. She's drawn all of them. What you don't realize is there are stars hovering above all of us uh, all the time. Uh, it's pretty constant. Uh, most of them are just invisible. No, I agree with Chaos. I'll take stoner conversations for $500, Alex. Okay, so I just <laughs> went into the backyard, ate some dirt, uh... That is a lie. There is nothing tasty about that dirt. It is not a pop tart, sir. No, 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 no. The, the, the crust of the pop tart is never good. You gotta That's get the on the inside. Damn part. Fuck I, you, Kidunt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Go outside and eat one because it's made out of fucking uh, graham crackers stuff. Well, you it's know what? Obviously, not every single part of the earth is a s'more. Now, is it? Antoine. All thing we need is Tide Pod. Hold on, off there. Sparky. Hold on, Magog. What you saying to Antoine? Antoine, save me. <laughs> Antoine, what? I hate all the things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I feel I feel so I, I I feel you so much right now, Magog. You have no idea. The I, cyber I, I just, of the hate, future. I just hate it all. <laughs> and the necromancer of another world. They they are they are hating all the things. And so this I must make you feel much better, Magog, about your prospects of conquering the Earth. I hate all the things. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is causing Magog to not want to come, and conquer the earth and save us all well, it's I mean, making it, me it, want to go it, to Morskar and deal with not having the internet at it, all 
You want to know what? Just you know dealing how to get... with the problems there. I'd rather I'd rather face Rufus face to face right now than deal with the fact that people are going to start thinking Pop Tart Theory is correct because they yes. misunderstood this fucking stream. No, 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 no. You got to get me right. You got to get me right real quick. Because Morscar is the jelly, is the chocolate sauce and the the marshmallow sauce and all that good sauce. Now I understand it. McGog isn't a fucking wizard. He just knows how to take a bite in the right place. Exactly. This motherfucker fucking does. (laughs) (laughs) I think we have broken McGog. You broke me too, but my brain doesn't know how to fucking shut down. That's okay. Yeah. It's never active. You know, the worst thing is, Vagog, it's now canon. No, it's not. Yep. No, it's not. Yep. No, it's yep. not. Yep. No. This. Yep. yep. Just, just wait. <laughs> Why do you think it's so easy for him to get from Morscar to our world? It's because he knows how to bite through the it's delicious down crust down that down separates down. his jelly filling. I'm just saying. Magog doesn't eat a lot. He's got that belly because he travels. He hates all the things. Zenith Starwind God. fucking knows the sun is the toaster. See? Boom. Don't give an idea to Starwind, no, please. No, no. This is this is this is not a thing. Zell says that the horizon is flat. I hate all the yeah, things. <laughs> I hate all the things too. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to break into character and go on, off on this. That's how bad this is right now for my head. No, 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 no. Do it. Wait, no, no. Just go wait. Ahead, There'll be Tide Pod Earth Day next. Shut the no. fuck up, Sparky. You're going to give someone a bad idea, and then I'm going to have to do a fucking video on it, and then I'm going to find your ass, because I know where you live, and I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life with your own limbs. Y'all heard it here, folks. Y'all heard it first here. Pop-Tart theory. Right Tell there. Boom. It's not a fucking... Th- Magog, save us, please. Uh, Antoine, Antoine, uh, Mag- uh, Zell had a very good point. Uh, the horizon is flat, and I don't think that's because uh, the Earth is flat. I think that space is flat, and it kind of just hides so that we can always see the same angle. It's just, it's just always lurking out there, wherever we're looking. I, yeah, hate, what I hate humanity right now. No, what really you do, do, Schmeckle, pull that picture back up. That is, that isn't, that, that wasn't, there was a drawing of an actual photo taken from the side from an alien spaceship that had flown out. <laughs> I'm going to collect a horde, and I'm going to just murder every, everything, everybody. <laughs> I'm downing an entire bottle of aspirin right now. I hate all the things! <laughs> hey, Magog. Magog, how do you feel about the things? Hey, Magoogles. Pop-Tarts, Magoogles. Pop-Tarts. More scars jelly filling. It's delicious. <laughs> By the way, if this is not. Listening- this is this is ridiculous. This is not a thing. This is never going to be a thing. If it's ever a thing, I'm going to find each every single one of you, aside from Magog and Brockus, and I'm going to beat you. I'm going to hashtag pop hey, 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 what, what the heck did I do? Tide Pod Earth Theory, you bastard. Hey, but we will oh, not talk Tide about Pod it. Earth Theory? No, Antoine, please explain the Tide Pod Earth Theory. Does that mean the know. inside? No, no, no. Is- <laughs> He's the one that came up with it. I'm going to have to fucking... I hate you all. Is it cleansing yet poisonous? I, I, I am now convinced that the Earth is a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, McGough, don't go into the light. The light is bad. The light yes. is very, very bad. Yes! Washing machine! And we are nothing but Tide Pods for the washing machine. <laughs> Surrender to your febreziness. And the great forests no. of the earth, no. all the clothes we must wash. No. And that's that's why when we die, our bodies decay into the earth and help feed the trees because we are cleansing it with our death. All right, so all right, all right, all right. Kadan, Rinse Kadan, cycle. I'm about to help you with your stupid crackpot theory. Which one? <laughs> the fucking Tide Pod thing. If you remember, yes. that's how we got soap because the fat from the human body. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> the human body mixed with the limestone created a nice 
thick foam. Yeah. See? And when Tanner's on board, hashtag washing machine earth. I can't oh. believe I broke my job. I'm giving my sermon. And when the end of the washing machine comes, it will come in the form of a hurricane known as spin cycle. <laughs> So saith the God, rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> now shall we all hum. Um, beep, you're done. <laughs> beep, you're done. <laughs> I hate all of you for breaking Magog. I, I hate you all for breaking Magog. Because Magog I still have to do a collaboration with him, and if he Magog dresses out, up as a wizard on the regular, Magog came here broken. If if he's still spouting about this when we do our collaboration, I'm killing all of you. Just letting you know. Well, Magoogles, you, you know what to do. Kill me because that was my deal. Magoogles, hey, don't forget to spread the word. <laughs> and may you not find your soul in the everlasting, everlasting pain of the dryer. May your reds not be mixed no, with your whites. Especially you, Starwind. Do you want to know why? Because you decided to add to this by saying the sun was a toaster. I'm going sun to find a toaster. Her. Why do you think you burn because you're not cleansed in the light? Oh my god. Oh, oh, Zell just, just pointed something out that could support the, the Pop Tart theory. Sections of Antarctica are military zones and we can't investigate it all. Therefore, the entrance to the hollow inside is there, where Hitler went to hide after World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine, what did you expect was going to happen? No. If it's no. 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 Pots. Hashtag pop tarts. <laughs> I am I am but a Tide Pod in this washing machine, waiting to dissolve into the earth and cleanse it with my innards. And since the since the earth is a washing machine, I now believe that you should not mix coloreds with whites. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, oh my god, McGoogles, you're right. Yes. Nay, you don't want to taint the whites. Nay, not taint, not, no, no, no. Never taint the whites. You gotta keep the whites clean and pure. Maybe, may, may the great All church. All the dogs can stay over there. Different load. May, may the great church of the non shrinking polyesters live forever. Toaster strudel All earth. Hail. Oh my god, chaos. All hail the great god, rinse and repeat. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> but but what but what are the dark chapters about dry cleaning? We Who do not speak, speak of, of them. Oh. Rinse and repeat. It, it would be correct to assume that the, the dry cleaning is the, the heathen's way. Stop 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 speaking your pagan tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm, I, 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 I can't. I can't anymore. <laughs> you can and you must. Me, I'm joined. Embrace the Thai pod that you are. Embrace Remember. the religion of the A earth. Antoine, wash. I think you might need to get Brahms. Clean us. Tis a clean earth. May your lint filter never be clogged. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Rinse and, and repeat. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this Amen is, but he sounds like a jerk. Man, you can't just do that. Sparky's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I missed what he said. Good. <laughs> it was intensely racist. It am not what said, it's how said. Oh, <laughs> now he said it. It wasn't what he said. It was the way he said it. Okay, Sparky. Oh, no. So I was gonna we, do we, my, were my, trying, my we were trying to cover <sighs> topics, and then Pop Tart Theory showed up. There it is. <laughs> there it is. My first follower. Flat Earth or Hollow Earth are legitimate theories. So is Pop Tart Earth. 
Pop Tart Welcome Theory is not to the a fucking theory. Star Wind. Rinse yes. and repeat. Hashtag rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Zenith Starwind. May your lint filter never be clogged. <laughs> so God. say it, High Priest of Mag High Priest Magog. May you never go to the hotness <laughs> of the dryer and instead hang upon the the paradise lines. Me, me and Solomon's gonna remember this and I'll bring this up whenever I go through and play Mega Man X. May your docks never be. So, are be you saying this is going to beach. rival the blue whale? Rinse and repeat. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. Fucking... Someone hit the stop button on this thing so I can go kill myself. No, no and don't jump off. If you're going to kill yourself, do a live. May, may, may your I'm soul... not giving you the views. Everyone, everyone, <laughs> may, may your soul flap freely in the winds of paradise upon the clothesline of heaven. Okay, no, may you smell like an evening breeze. I can't believe I'm bringing this. <coughs> Ali in the chat asked, does that mean the sun is the dryer? Yay! <laughs> it has been spoken, therefore it is. What saith uh, High Priest Magog of Rinse and Repeat? Though I walk through the valley of unironed khaki jeans, <laughs> I shall fear no heresy. <laughs> I'm st I'm stuck between angry and and quite amused. This is not this is not good. This is ideal. This is perfect. Yeah, <laughs> hey, my dog, let's see if we can break you uh... High expectations for how these things are going to go. Yes, Xanath, Star Wars, may all your sins be bleached. Oh God. God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior who died upon the cross? His name is Snuggly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking, you asshole. Relax <laughs> the throat and swallow like a good girl. I'm sorry. Key lime flavored carbonated water doesn't taste good going through the nose. Oh, I love it. What is reality? I don't know what life in reality is anymore. Everything it's okay. is a blur. Don't Just... worry, Antoine. It, you can wash yourself clean. All if I you see, embrace your Tide Pod ways. <laughs> all I see are Pop-Tart stickers on washing machines, and it's hurting me. It hurts my brain. <laughs> I'm full of goes, Haha, Antoine can't swallow. Antoine! <laughs> Antoine! <laughs> my child, Antoine. If you have spilled your drink upon your clothes, I know how you can cleanse them. By accepting the Lord Snuggly Bear into your heart. <laughs> Ritz and repeat. I hate this Rinse so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. Chaos says, Snuggles be with you. And Snuggles be with you, child. On. Snuggles be with you, child. Thank you. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Ah, softener who art in bottle, Snuggles be thy name. <laughs> Oh God! I think we're. I think we've finished the Earth theories. <laughs> I, <laughs> we, we actually have left out uh, one of my favorite theories about the Earth. And what is no, that? No, 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 yes, yes, no. Yes, yes. Hey, it, it doesn't so much have to do with the shape of the Earth. Uh, I guess it kind of ties in a little bit to the uh, the Hollow Earth theory. What do you think about the Mole Man? I wish they would come up from the center of the earth and destroy you all. Uh, Antoine, have you ever seen a mole man? I did see a mother the other day. That is so you've seen one of the mole men, so you know that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Just complete out of left field here. Wasn't there like a mole man? Villain in the Marvel Universe? Probably. I think yes, his name is literally Mole Man. So we, sh we should expect to see him in the, the Netflix Daredevil series, eh? 
No, he wasn't really a, a daredevil. Um, Did you really just say A? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Canadian. I, hey, so, I am Canadian. Hey, did I you did not, not culture, dude, I did not culturally appropriate my own culture, okay? I'm allowed uh, to say that. A? Eh? Um, okay. Magogis? Um, high priest Magogums? We shall cleanse the mole people's clothes and with that, their souls. <laughs> Opal does not know who our poor savior Snuggles is. May the wash instruction tag be with you. <laughs> 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 we all need the guidance of the wash tag instructions. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, well, how the fuck do you not know who Snuggles <laughs> is? Well, I, I was going to ask who the fuck is Snuggles. It's oh, the like, bear. It's the bear. Oh, he then. That's okay. He is, uh, he's uneducated. He, he's a savage. It's okay. We'll, we'll bring him into the fold. All right, all right. Starwin, and then I'm we shall kill. fold close. I'm, I'm gonna hurt you, Starwind. I swear to God. I love you, Starwind. Hi, Star Hi Priest Magog. Does that mean doing laundry is an act of holy behavior? It is, and you must not fall into the sin of using wire hangers. I only have plastic, High Priest. That's Don't good. Rinse use and repeat. wire hangers. <laughs> Rinse and repeat, child. Rinse and repeat. Rinse Snuggles be with you. High praise Snuggles, Snuggles be with you. Thank you. Snuggles that, you. That's Snuggles. Uh, the fucking bear is Snuggles. Yes, race Jacobson. Drink deep the sacramental bleach. <laughs> <laughs> no, Opal. No, Opal. We are worshiping the great god. Rinse and repeat. Who's Who's Bro uh, Brock is. Who has built our? No, we worship Maytag, who has Brock built is. our universe, the washing machine. Brock is. Yep. Yeah. I don't you know saw, what we're right now. Of Legends of Tomorrow, right? Okay, what? What? Who? Hmm? So you saw season three of Legends of Tomorrow? No. Well, the, the first you saw, half. You, you saw the Viking one with the the blue bear is the god. We now live that reality. <laughs> what? <laughs> so if it tells me you just spoiled it. I'm sorry. You, you, we I live that. I, I love it when Brockus rages. It's one of my favorite things. There's an episode where they go back to where the Vikings discover America and then eventually leave, right? That's what happened in history. There is a blue bear that goes back in time called Bebo, that is basically Snuggles, blue, mixed with a Furby, and the Vikings see it as their god. Nope, that is the false prophet of the god, uh, of the of the demigod Whirlpool. Now, what I'm what I'm saying <laughs> is we now live that reality because of this fucking stream. So thank you for that. We're so glad Rinse we can help you find the enlightened way. Rinse and repeat. You know what? I'm going to go find Bebo and he's going to take out your Maytag and the rest of your snuggle bullshit. That's what I'm going to do. It will not happen because our armor is always clean. <laughs> <laughs> we are stain free. We reek not. Because we clean our genitals. <laughs> Very important life. Clean your cocks. All right. And your can, we, can, can we end this so I can go hang myself, please? You can't hang yourself. You would make a mess. Hey, is, oh, he that, is he that big? Yeah, if he hangs himself, are we talking like head popping off? Or, or are you just worried about him inevitably shitting himself when he dies? The second part. Oh, okay. On the carpet. Voltoth asks a very good question. Oh, so dear. if Tide is so important, how about... Ariel and Bold. Those are two lesser gods that got thrown out, out of the Pantheon. I don't, don't you mean Saint Ariel and Saint Bold? <sighs> Yay, I believe so. Whose robes Rinse were always and clean. Repeat. God damn it. End the fucking thing, please. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly did I'm not sorry, think I tried. this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, is the, this is the most fun I've had on stream in a while. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, I'm fucking, I had to keep muting my mic because I was crying, laughing. <laughs> then I had to keep doing like the priest voice, so I was like cracking up. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we, we just... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, I have a very important question, though, in, in regards to this new religion that Magaga started. Do you have dental? Of course. Cleaning your teeth is just as important as cleaning your clothes. Jim Max asks if he's, he says he's thinking of starting a character called the White Knight. That's what? already kind of happened. I guess talking about ki- the comics. Toss anything, anything, anything to stop talking about this. I will bring up comics. I'll bring up porn. I don't care. That is not what this stream is about. It, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but you bring up Sandman. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse. Schmeckle, <laughs> shut this down. Shut it down before <laughs> Antoine comes in here and kills me. Uh, I, I don't care who dies. If there's a death, I benefit from this. That's if true. you die, Isha, remember, your Tide Pod body will dissolve in the rinse cycle. Oh, in the water cycle. I have been saved by the great god Rinse and Repeat. Prince and Uh The bitching witch says that uh, she's high on pain pills, so we should keep going. <laughs> I, I feel both an obligation to keep going for her benefit and also to get her the fuck on here right now. Here, there is a convert in the chat that is dying to talk to the new priest. Who? Let them speak. Opal wants to talk to the new priest. Oh... Mm. Opal, oh, you, can, you can come on, and this time I'll remember to charge more than 30 cents to get rid of you. Yeah. Uh, 30 cents. Yeah, I meant it to be offensive, but uh, then I realized I don't get any money if they just donate 30 cents. Allie Marcus, asks, link your, if, Allie link asks if the rinse cycle is when it rains. Of course, that is the cleansing washing machine earth. <laughs> <laughs> Why do Allie? you think you avoid being out in the rain most of the time? Allie. We were friends. I'm just. I, I. I thought we were friends. We're fighting now. Just to let you know. <laughs> so wait, was that was that actually invite Opal on or or no? Yes. Send a link to your wife. Fair enough. Antoine, what? Do not deny what is in your heart. <laughs> I don't know. We recently converted him to uh, fright power and fright supremacy and all that, but uh, I don't think I don't think he he'll be able to. I, I no, he, he, uh, he, uh, he, the bitching witch says I'm not coming on high. No way. To which I respond, uh, Come on, pussy. Uh, uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, do you have people yelling in your background? Oh, sorry. I was watching PewDiePie. Oh, okay, that explains it. They didn't sound Mexican or poor. I like white people. <laughs> I, I've noticed bald white people yeah. usually involved in either Satanism or gangs for some reason. Hey, not gangs. So, so you're you're going to be converting to this new religion? Oval. What's the new religion? The one that they've been going on and on about. But I don't understand. Ishtar, Kadanti, if you would please baptize uh, the, the new. <laughs> Well, we you have nothing but a Tide Pod, Opal. I don't own Tide Pods. What no, you but you, you are a Tide, a tide pod? pod. You, you are, are a Tide, tide pod, pod, child. the universe is a washing machine. I mean, you the world is pod, spinning child. really fast oh, wow. around the sun. We're oh in a constant god. spin cycle, Opal. And you, oh you, my god. <laughs> my head <laughs> hurts so, so much. <laughs> it hurts so much right now. <laughs> But if anything, we're being tried by the sun because I we're going to well, I mean, Antoine, Antoine, you of all people should realize that sometimes life just humbles you around. Sometimes get, uh, things get a little too, a little too hot for your liking. Sometimes, like if you're that's stuck in California, cycle. you get an earthquake because California sucks, and that's a tumble cycle. Yes, and sometimes- oh my God, she knows! Oh, she's already been indoctrinated. She Rinse. knows California sucks. Rinse and repeat. Rinse my snuggles and repeat. Be with you. I still don't know who Snuggles is. Is he like Billy Mays? Does he sell detergent? <laughs> oh, no, there's more. That did lead us to the truth. <laughs> is Billy Mays the Pope? 
He, he's the Holy okay. Spirit. Because the great arm and hammer oh, will reach like down from the sky. Oh, I <laughs> like his little dead eyes. This is, yeah, this is Snuggles. I'm so lonely. Please hug me. That's what his eyes are saying. Then <laughs> you, you know because you see that in the mirror. They keep me a box to go to the commercials. Hi, little bear. Oh, Opal. Uh, Opal. Uh, I just have one question for you. Are you willing to rinse and repeat? Rinse Why and would repeat. you rinse and repeat? Why wouldn't rinse you do it right the first time? Multiple rinses are needed sometimes, child. You Why must would... cleanse your soul, Opal. <laughs> Why wouldn't and you do it right the first time? Multiple rinses are sometimes needed. You do now now we must pray. Everything. We must pray to the holy land of Maytag. Oh, uh, we must now make the ceremonial hum. No, 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 the no, 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 And now I want to see a Mag Maytag priest. <laughs> um, like, get that satanic priest thing, but like, put who is Maytag man on it. Turn off your vibrator. vibrator. Oh my tree. god. <laughs> She's oh, being cleansed <laughs> deep inside of her. Such deep cleansing. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. You said, you said to hum. <laughs> Everybody leave this chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope, like, Race Jacobson is like on to something here. I really hope the Drink from the sacramental bleach becomes a meme. Like, <laughs> really, yeah. It's like every time someone says something really stupid, like a flat earther, it, they could be it, like, up, oh, pass the sacramental bleach. Rinse, oh, hey. rinse and he, repeat. Rinse they, and repeat. <laughs> I think we can these people can can use me for a while. I, I, I may be persuaded to, to make some art on this. We'll see. <laughs> Smosh, there needs to be a t-shirt. Smosh, I will pay you not to do it. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll pay whatever he's paying. He's he's homeless right now. I'm not Smosh homeless. You, I'm not he's homeless. Not you homeless. Smosh is homeless. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. Oh my god, Smosh is homeless. He's going to sleep in the snow. Smosh <laughs> is not homeless. He rinses and repeats. The Lord has taken <laughs> care of him. Oh, he's gonna get mauled by a polar bear. He sleeps in the snow. He's gonna have. He looks like Canada, not Antarctica. <laughs> Look, no, pol polar bears are, are, are cute little little fluffy things. I like to snuggle with. No, it's the moose you gotta watch out for. Those oh, bastards my... will get you. Yeah, those moose. bastards will rape you. A moose uh, is gonna try to stab Smarj, and he's gonna have to chop trees to eat the syrup to survive. Antoine, seriously, he's gonna though. get diabetes. And Antoine, <laughs> I, I heard you were homeless after you hit a moose with your house. That's not none of that happened. Winnebago. I have, I have a picture of the Winnebago. No, you don't. Look at on the trip. What's a Winnebago? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it's a mobile home. Home. He's sitting over here. He's like, it's not a fucking Winnebago. It's a wanna bango. God, do I wanna bang. <laughs> so the bitching witch says, so if a woman leans on a running washer to get off, is it a holy act? Or Yay. It could be Harris. Harris. Rinse and repeat has many meanings. <laughs> no. It, 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 yeah. Though, though getting a good hot dicking to truly cleanse the inside <laughs> heavenly is she a priest now or what's going on <laughs> <laughs> only only rinse the and, repeat. and you will like the religion of rinse and repeat more than is, most is there we do not food? have ten commandments we do not have ten commandments <laughs> Just we have six commandments one. and four do the best you can. <laughs> <laughs> six absolute rules and four. I mean, if you can, be able. Oh, well, we have a convert in the chat. Well, we have Zana Starwin saying, I volunteer for rinse and repeat. 
clerical office, saying that if you are willing to submit yourself to not only uh, the belief, in rinsing and repeating, but also the lifestyle that comes with it, we will we will get you up there. We'll bump you through the ranks. We will we will turn your spin cycle into a fully washed set of clothing. Indeed, rinse Praise and repeat. be his name. Rinse and repeat. Unlike Unlike so this is like other well. religions where like the priests are celibate, right? Yeah. Oh, no, Absolutely no, no. not. You're entirely allowed to fuck. It just all of your sexual activity needs to take place. I, I'm sorry. Wow. I couldn't imagine Kadan or Magog being it, celibate. It's impossible to remain celibate when your lover smells like springtime. <laughs> because she has rinsed and repeat. Praise be his name. Rinse and repeat. I, I couldn't Prince imagine my dog celibate. Oh, hell, the mighty douche. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new subscriber. Hi, Larry. Being celibate is a sin against rinsing and repeating. <laughs> oh, my God. What the, what the fuck was that? See? See? Oh. I mentioned celibacy and boom. Oh, my God. Is everybody okay? <laughs> no. No. Is Unless you rinse and repeat it. Dude, then you will be fine. That after all the feminism, oh, well, well, it took a 12-year-old girl to shatter the glass ceiling. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Did anybody get hurt? We have Just a wild Those who did not rinse and repeat. Saying, Schmeckle never takes sides against the family. A wild fox appears. Alhut Alazim is very, very uh, welcome and invite <laughs> welcome. to rinse and repeat. Uh, the blue uh, the blue whale can have hair as luscious as mine. <laughs> you will rinse and repeat. <laughs> the blue whale, uh, Alul Halu, uh, Alul Alazim, no. definitely Alul. rinses Alul. and repeats. Mark, that was not the sound of Magog breaking. <laughs> that was the si sound of me throwing something through a window. Oh, oh hi, Mark. Is the window okay? It better be okay, or he's gonna Did be. Did somebody dead get man. hurt? Oh my God! Is like nobody was on the floor of the concrete, was it? You didn't hit an animal, did you? I don't know if she's being serious or not. <laughs> dead cat outside, but, uh... Oh my God, <laughs> dude, you need to clean that up later. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Says the woman. Hey, says the twelve-year-old that has hundreds of dead animal. black birds outside her house. Yeah, I I don't know what to do. They're in a pile outside. You're not supposed to throw them in the trash, so I don't know what to do. I might do them tomorrow. I, I I have two comments here. First off, Antoine, when you're cleaning it up, but uh, don't make Ishtar do it. You do it yourself. Remember to rinse and repeat. Uh, and then the bitching witch says, uh, isn't letting a guy come in you kind of rinsing? Also, I think these pills made me horny. Bitching witch, you have the goddamn one. Oh, I felt like that on, um, what's that drug called? Morphine. You got yeah. I, I remember the night you said you sent fucking titty pics to everyone. Oh no, that was anesthesia. Oh, these are different. <laughs> uh, never mind. These are different occasions. Yeah, apparently I get in a certain way when I do drugs. Yeah, yeah you're titty, Marcus, Now uh, you know. Uh, go Hold out on. with all the women you know, and then one of them is dumb enough that I end up seeing them. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. We have a great worshiper of rinse and repeat in the chat. Jim yeah, Max says, I used to be 92 Sarah in the army. They are the army rinse and repeat. Oh my gosh. Uh, seriously. Uh, how, how do you <laughs> take care of your gun? No, 92 S of the army is shower, laundry, and clothing repair specialists. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Definitely a rinser work. and a repeater. Rinse and repeat me with you. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I can't. I've started Antoine, a thing. Antoine. Antoine. Praise be to his name, Antoine. <laughs> Mark. Mark. Be with you, Antoine. Why are we worshiping Antoine? It's just Antoine. The bear is named Sniggles. We can't be held for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> we have to change a letter, but he's okay with it. He died on the holy rinse cycle cross. Sniggles be with you. There he did tumble in the water for three days and three nights before he made his triumphant and fluffy return. 
<laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to go in to check on Antoine, and he's just going to be sitting there crying he's in a be corner. Hanging from the fucking rope. <laughs> I hope you didn't break anything important. Uh, no, 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 all I have to say. In a second. All I have to say is let may the sudsy powers of <laughs> repeat be with you. Magog, if you make a T-shirt about this, <laughs> I will buy it. <laughs> you buy the T-shirt when it gets here. I'm burning it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you wear my t-shirt if I give it to you? Who, me? Anybody? Yes. So you'll wear my t-shirt and then, like, be a you cute You know she's going to put Satan on it, right? I have lots of Satan t-shirts. See? Three. I, I can't promise you a cute model, but I, I will wear your t-shirt if you send it to me. Okay, good. And save up to buy shirts for people. Ishtar says she's a chunky way to open <laughs> Probably to do it. That's okay. I'm what the kids call thick. There's nothing wrong with squishy. There is nothing I haven't gotten any complaints yet. You're fur covered and stuffed uh, with the plush of our lord. <laughs> you don't need to sell the product anymore. I'm already sold on it. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Schmeckle only converted because oh, he yeah. found out don't, our lord um, Sniggles wears a top hat. Don't um, don't give me morphine. By the way, Barakas, the, uh, the nurse got I really mad. So the the nurse got really really upset. I think uh, they did. I don't know. Why I probably should have waited until I was home. Is don't this worry, the same one that you wanted to assault? No, oh, what? oh no, no! I know what she's talking about, and it is hilarious. See, I don't no, no. have morphine, but now I'm tempted to go and get morphine. I've never had morphine before. You, you can't just drop something like that and not explain it. Um, mm. it's, it's already been explained on a live stream before, but I'll go ahead and just repeat it. Uh, she she made a very erotic sound when uh, the needle pierced her arm. And then proceeded to later masturbate. after I, the It morphine. was the morphine. Sure. Sp a bitching witch says, speaking of laundry, I need to do laundry because I have no clean panties. So I'm I, not I never panties. had morphine before. I never had to lot it before, but I didn't jerk off in front of the doctor while they were fucking sewing me up. <laughs> but, but they didn't actually sew me up. They... Stitches feel kind of good, too. I had my leg lanced a while ago. Opal, had... you are a serial killer. You understand, I had my, right? my, my yeah. skull bashed, and that felt kind of good when they stitched it up. Makes me oh, kind of makes me miss the days when, when you were sick, you just went down to the docks for a good leeching. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, leeches are so cute. Serial killer. They're just like the little sluggies. <laughs> um, um, High you Priest are such a masochist. Did you perform an exorcism of some sort on the soul of this poor, deranged creature? Or should They're we just like... go straight to the mercy kill? <laughs> <laughs> They're like cute little sluggies. <laughs> and they keep the animal population down. Serial killer. <laughs> the power of Sniggles. I am concerned for Opal. Why? Because I think leeches are cute. The power of Sniggle compels you. And they help humans, too. They help uh, stop infections. And they Allie, keep, don't uh, be concerned appendages for Opal. Alive. Be concerned for the many, many bodies that are in her basement. Ugh. Murdering she didn't even me. say no. She just said, ugh. <laughs> They're starting to smell. <laughs> oh, killing somebody would take so much work, and I don't have a reason to kill anybody. Yet. Also, I'm small. Most serial you know, killers I, don't. Like, it was yet. Just, like, yeah, but there's a difference between killing them and just chaining them up and waiting for them to die. That takes too long. I mean... <laughs> All I'm saying is everybody here is sweetening the pot for me. And it, 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 it's just gonna yeah, race, I'm really... race says race said it perfectly. She feeds the bodies to her antichrist baby. I mean, like, I'm really small. It would be really, really hard for me. To yeah, she doesn't body. deny it. She Rockus, doesn't deny that she doesn't. Rockus, and like, I'm not. Makes... I'm not here to judge you, man. But when you come down to Arkansas to help build Morscar, do not bring this psycho midget with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, it would make such a mess too, and I hate oh, cleaning. Unless she has a flat spot on her head where I can rest my well, ear. I mean, she has medicine. She'll, she'll work hard. I, I actually. Dude, you live in Arkansas, dude. I'll come down and help you. 
<laughs> with, with the thing, with the way I'm things down have from actually... where? That sound ominous. I shall descend from the heavens. Northeast Oklahoma. <laughs> and rinse oh, yeah, and repeat. A, depending on where you are in Oklahoma, that's a stone's throw. What happened? Not by Missouri. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're right on the board. I'm in Texas. We're not allowed to have basements, by the way. I've made Oklahoma City in five hours, so you're pretty close. Oh, oh yeah. I've never seen a basement. Come this, to think this, of it. This, this, this is kinda, no, that's because you just drop your enemy you just drop your victims down there and close the door. But Texas doesn't have basements. No, no yeah. Opal, Opal. Yeah, You're not point? allowed to have a basement because <laughs> Texas knows how you are. The entire state of Texas made every house not have a basement because I was born. Exactly. No, that they knew one day you would be born. My family calls me uh, a jinx. There has been hundreds year, uh, of years. You of birthed the Antichrist. I wonder why they call you a jinx. Well, they also say because their you? favorite sports team has never won in, when I was born. It's something yeah. about fires. Oh, but when was the last thing a good uh, last time a good thing happened in Texas? Was it before or after your birth? Uh, everything good actually happened before my birth, which is really weird. Maybe that's why my family calls me a jinx. I swear to God, <laughs> this entire stream, I've been thinking to myself, why can't I just meet a rich, dumb, young nymphomaniac so I never have to do this again? <laughs> I'm not oh, man, I, I've been trying. Trust me. The uh, they're they're surprisingly hard to come across. Well, uh, <laughs> I know. Opal, can you read this? It puts the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> 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 Marry me now. <laughs> Aww. Oh, Aww. Aww. Opal, you and Brockus. Oh, somebody's I'm... attracted to me. Yay. <laughs> I'm so glad you two found each other. Brockus, my if, God, Brockus you if you end up dead, I am not coming to your funeral. <laughs> I don't. I will because I won't stay dead. I'll just get rid. I of will it. so I can dance with Opal. Yay! Dance on the grave. It's a big grave. We can both dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even deny that. Right, where, no. where, where's the grave? That entire park uh, opening over there. Oh, that, that'd that'd be the entire grave. I'm not even mad. <laughs> <laughs> Opal, can you um Opal, can you read this? I put the slaughter I'm uh, I put the laughter in slaughter. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you can't spell laughter without slaw. Oh, damn it, I always do it backwards. You can't spell slaughter without now, laughter. Now I need to for some reason I need to hear Opal say I ate his kidney with some fava beans and a nice chianti. I ate his kidney with a nice fava beans and a nice candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Magog, you, you hear her laugh. You will want to use it in one of your... One of your oh, could, it is the done. creepiest <laughs> fucking thing ever. Could, could I Opal? Wait, wait, wait. Opal, Opal, Opal. Say this one. I'm not crazy. I'm just differently sane. Oh, I'm not crazy. I'm just differently sane. No, 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 Wait. no. Say, say, I may be schizophrenic, but at least I have each other. <laughs> I might be schizophrenic, but at least I'm not lonely. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. It sounds better. Wait. Opal, sing with me. Okay. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. la, la, la. Oh, please, la, la, la. La. <laughs> it's hard just to let you know there's a creepy girl now at the front door with long black hair waiting to come in. That's where I know Opal from. She crawled out of a well on an old VHS I had. <laughs> you didn't put her back, you bastard. <laughs> what did you do to us? <laughs> Why are you watching VHSs? Duh. God, she went. That went way over her fucking head. <laughs> it's that grudge movie. That that scary movie. The Ring. Yeah. Grudge. <laughs> That's the grudge. I hate that fucking. My son sound. laughs when I make that sound. <laughs> because he he's probably laughs a because demon. it sounds like you're dying. <laughs> he laughs. He likes it. You're sitting there going, ah, and he's thinking she's choking. She's choking, finally. 
Joke, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about his sh this stream is is going to make Schmeckel more unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> This chick has a son. Yeah, I have a baby. <laughs> you know, I I actually was really proud to get my sobriety coin. <laughs> now I have vodka. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that. Magog, you need to share, please. Oh, like, alcoholism is a disease. How much? You should be no, sober like me. I'm joking. Alcoholics go to meetings. I'm a drunk. <laughs> Alcoholism I isn't a disease. Shine. That's a fucking lie that the Christians feed you. I am a sober. I am a sober. I am a sober. I've never had the alcohol before. I am a drinker. Katan, please, I beg you. Only one opal. <gasps> I found a fortune cookie. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, uh, yeah. Esther has a very good point. Kadan, keep on with the opal thing. Opal, shut up. <laughs> you know, you know what, you know, you know what my favorite fortune from a fortune cookie was. I just got done eating my teriyaki chicken and fried rice, and then I opened the fortune cookie, and it said that wasn't chicken. <laughs> 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 I found a fortune cookie! Yay! What does your fortune say? I don't know, where did it come from? Ask your demon spawn. It, it, your fortune is going to read, don't worry, your son will spare your <gasps> oh life. My God. I cannot read this. Heathens. I'm just going to throw it away. I'll read it. Okay. If you As can't read it, it's written in English. <laughs> asshole. Um... <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture so there's evidence. But soon wedding bells are in a family member's future. <laughs> Brockus! Opal, will you marry Brockus? I don't know. Well, Magog is, Magog is Opal, a I have a goddamn ring for you right now. If you marry Brockus, I'll send it, it to you. It's kind of ironic. I'm, I will I'm marry take a, a picture goddamn so ring if, evidence. You, if you will let Brockus slide it onto your finger and then let him slide other things different places. Magog is a new priest of this new religion. He can marry you. Would you like to hear the official prayer? Yes. And here, and so, the God, rinse and repeat, said on to man, different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes, and cutaway coat. Perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. I hate you. I hate you so much. That's a beautiful. I, 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 the oh words of our Lord and Savior and his son, uh, the Sniggles. mighty bear Snuggles. Sniggles. 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 For copyright reasons. Let me finish the prayer. If you're blue and you don't know where to go, why don't you go where fashion sits? Oh my God. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> 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 Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Schmeckle, for the Lord of Sniggles, put this put this stream out of its and misery. Ron, I will have you know, as the prophet once said, I wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and let us not forget the prophet Sniggles also said, before you judge a man, walk a mile in his shoes. So when you judge him, you're a mile away, and you have his shoes. Man, how can I run a religion and a whorehouse at the same time? <laughs> we are running into a conflict of interest. If the Catholics no, can do it, you can. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's splitting up to different rooms. This room is where you go for prayer. This room over here is where you do the deeds. Where you rinse and repeat. <laughs> this oh, room, you on your knees, and in this room, she gets on hers. Rinse and repeat is the official res religion of the oldest profession, prostitution. Can PewDiePie be the Pope? PewDiePie hey. cannot be the Pope because I know for a fact that PewDiePie rinses, but does not repeat. PewDiePie. Sad day. Sad day, child. Sad day. It, it's a terrible thing. I refuse to rinse and repeat. Antoine, one day. Heretic. Find the water. It will 
<laughs> fall upon your head, and you will decide. I worship the gods of dry cleaning. Then you will realize that you have rinsed and repeated and become whole as a result. Until then, enjoy your... I worship, I worship the ancient gods of dry cleaning. It's you one. lie, it's heretic! One. I have seen you using the holy washing machine. What you see is just an illusion. Everyone, please remember the wise words of Sniggles. Do not judge a man unless you walk a mile in his shoes. Quick, get his shoes! <laughs> <laughs> we can ski in his shoes. They're kind of big. And also remember, if you first don't succeed, then skydiving isn't for you. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can literally been. read a shit ton of jokes in the priest voice and be happy. <laughs> you can be she made me drop out. You can pretty much make a, a whole new character around this <laughs> priest. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh kind of thinking you should actually do some sort of like priest Magog fucking videos. It has, has to be an all white. Uh, the bitching witch has decided for no reason. Uh, to point out that she's high as fuck on pain pills and not wearing panties. The bitching witch, why are you not... No, I've asked this many times. You can pretty fuck you, you doing it. Not she's right not to saying you. it to you, Schmeckle. She's saying it to Beardy. I know she's saying it to Beardy. But she's high as fuck and not wearing panties. She should be in here. Oh, right, panties. Mark, Mark, <laughs> asks, Mark asks in the chat, which is the most sacred? Top or front loader? We do not judge... But I uh, either way is acceptable. Uh, then I've always had a preference. The tradition will tell you that it is the front loader. It is the front. Yet others uh, place their face in uh, their faith in the top loader. The the the, the church. Rockus, send bitch repeat, link. Are staunch full frontal advocates. Apparently, I'm gonna marry Baracus. Uh, Opal, it will yep. be a wedding consecrated by Prince and Repeat. Uh, he will be in uh, in evidence for your wedding. One thing I do ask is that you make sure that your clothing smells nice and spring fresh. It is his preference. And also, uh, while speaking to the priest, make sure not to look him in the eyes. It's been a long time since he's had human contact. They're generally... Duck in the laundromat all day. The holy laundromat. Will the there be food during this marriage? Yes. Of course. Yeah, yeah. there will be food, but you must be careful with it. You may confess <laughs> you your sins. Not stain the cloth. You may confess your sins while sitting naked upon the washing machine. <laughs> yeah. I, own I, I, I just don't. Yours. Just don't fill yourself up too much with food. For there will be other things for you to swallow. <laughs> repeat. Such as the ceremony. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> it's what I hate myself for this. <laughs> I, I'm totally excited about the food oh. and shelter. Antoine is pretty much done now. <laughs> yeah, he's done. We've broken him. I, I'm so excited for food and shelter. <laughs> Rinse and repeat and talk. No, yes, we, we will. will. No, 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 no. I'm not we rinsing will rinse and repeating. And we will repeat him. I worship the out. ancient gods <laughs> of dry new. cleaning. They are more powerful than your sniggles. Hey, that. Uh, yeah, you want to be quiet with uh, with heresy like that. Sniggles can hear. Snoo, snoo. <laughs> sniggles listens at all times. Uh, he has large, bear-shaped ears. Let him Antoine, listen. Antoine, how could you deny a religion that has six commandments and four do the best you can? Because <laughs> 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 the gods of dry have two commandments Antoine, and eight join don't us. worry about it. Join us, Antoine. Join us, Antoine. God, Sniffle. stop that! <laughs> Antoine. Is These are the children of Rinse and Repeat. <laughs> no, no, I mean, they are laughing because they are filled with the holy starch of our Lord. 
<laughs> they have been left full firm and riding their weight. That's the way of our life. That's the creepiest fucking thing I have ever heard. <laughs> Antoine? Joy from Antoine? Joy the Antoine? Uh, the beard barian <laughs> says that we were making him hard. No, the beard bear before that though, because you can clearly see he came in at the end. His most it, the best example of what he had to say about this stream is <clears throat> dot dot dot. Opal, I love you, but you're annoying uh, as fuck. Yeah, that get that a lot. <laughs> I am so disturbed right now. Yes, welcome to the conversation, Gabby. Rinse and repeat. Become a child of the washing machine. <laughs> Baracus should be tested. We should replace Opal with Kadot and see if he can tell the difference. I think he can tell the difference. Yeah, I'm a no, little tough. No, it's it's. You both sound remarkably similar. I know. I sound remarkably similar. I mean, he could at least tell the physical differences. Oh yes. yeah, for sure. First off, I'm not a dirty Mexican, <laughs> and I'm not a dirty <laughs> Filipina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> that, was, that was magic. I think we all need to take a slow cycle and think about that. <laughs> I, I wasn't offended by the Kadunk comment, but I don't mean for some reason. Dirty Mexicans must, must, must wash their clothes. I have the right yeah. Spanish blood in my body. Oh, the <laughs> right Spanish blood? Yeah, Just I have the, the right dirty kind of Spanish blood. Just away from the whites, because you don't want to mix the whites with the darks. God. At least my clothes aren't yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love you, Opal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Opal, 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 Opal. No, he opal. doesn't need a third opal. Two opal. is enough. Opal. 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 I swear opal. to God. It's like... Opal. It's, opal. It's, 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 <laughs> oh, just, it's the word. It's torture. It's absolute fucking torture. I have, I, I have no... Oh, man. It's like a nightmare erotica between Sun Lee and a Mouseketeer. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Simone! Make him make it stop! Uh, I'm gonna allow this uh, surprising amount of people in the chat are saying they can get off of this, so I'm, I'm gonna let this happen. <laughs> A wild old Oh, my God. for the last hour. I've been trying to stop this. <laughs> you guys feel better now? Yeah. I feel like Pinhead is going to be showing up at any second going, you fucked with the box. <laughs> God, did Magog just dip? Yes, yeah. he did like Magog. two minutes ago. <laughs> oh, Magog, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Right, I'm going to stop. Magog is <laughs> back. You're going to not torment him. Magog, Magog, you did they summon you? What the fuck no, happened? They no, I, I, I literally got so triggered <laughs> when I... 
when I got up, my headphones <laughs> yanked my microphone off and it like unplugged and automatically kicked me. <laughs> well, and, and now that my dog's back, uh, he, 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 he. <laughs> he was summoned. I, I needed that. I can't, I can't <sighs> do that though. I can't put, I, it's like, it's like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> I turned too much. <laughs> oh, my uh, the worst thing is, uh, I know the people that said they were getting off to it in the chat were probably joking. But the yes, ones. Yes, they were. They I wanted you to end the stream like an hour ago before all this shit started. Oh, my throat hurts so much right now, though. Yeah, but, but uh, if we were into the stream an hour ago, we were going to have my this momentous moment recorded. I can't. I can't. <laughs> You know, like I, I had fun with some of the jokes and stuff, but this is honestly the stupidest goddamn stream I've ever been on. <laughs> and I am not like even joking. I hate you all. <laughs> I feel like after this stream, we've all come out with negative opinions of each other. Fortunately, if we all take some time, you know, friends would be. Rinse and repeat. I'm, I'm pretty sure I had to know. Damn it. <laughs> someone before you do that. I'm fucking taking a drink of my damn monster. Rinse and repeat. You broke the shit out of Smack. God damn it. You can't swallow either. Oh, you fucking has, has... stuck it in there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Uh. <laughs> Fuck you, Schmeckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. Yay, <laughs> it was on this day that Schmeckle broke Magog. This sanity would never be the same. I'm um, sorry. Don't be. That was that was really good. And it's nice to be able to laugh like that. Yeah, it's fun to laugh. Laughter is a good thing. Although laughing in your pitch, like in in oh my, my fucking Opal voice, fucking hurts my throat so goddamn bad. That's oh my god, Opal, yeah. Opal, you did something Brockus never could. You hurt my throat. <gasps> <laughs> I feel like a big man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure his average size dick is okay. Pat, pat. <laughs> No, I well, Opal, with your tiny mouth, it'll be more than okay. You you just you make sure to kiss it, lick it, make it feel better. Kiss, kiss. Like a gold star. <coughs> I don't care what anybody says. I'm about to get my happily ever after with Opal. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Oh, I actually decided, Brock, because we're not paying for that trip. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not in the budget. After I broke my dog, he's not going to pay for the trip. Oh my God! No, can you can no, you say you? Well, I'm being mean to Brock. It's not you. We'll we'll send you someone. <gasps> How do you feel about I don't know, like Antoine can, Troop? Uh, can it be a tentacle monster? Okay, no. uh, Megon. Eh, okay, he's white. <laughs> <laughs> eh, he's white. And he's on white. on on that note, uh, with the uh, oh, Megon clearly being white. <laughs> He's uh, white and not stupid. Eh. So thank you all for joining us in Qualms of the Curious. This was the stream <laughs> weirdest fucking stream we've been on. <laughs> this was the time. This was the washing machine Earth theory stream, where we are all nothing but Tide Pods. Uh, Schmeckel actually joined us for this, which is a miracle in and of itself. All hail, uh, thanks rinse and repeat. To, <laughs> all hail, rinse and repeat. Thanks to, to Magog and Sparky and, and Opal and, and Samaj and Brockus for joining me, Ishtar, and Antoine. Thank you guys for coming in. We really appreciate it. Get no, the go. fuck out. I regret Bye. this. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat.